The passenger compartment of the Model X remained stable in the frontal offset test. Dummy readings indicated good protection of the knees and femurs of the driver and passenger. Tesla showed that a similar level of protection would be provided to occupants of different sizes and to those sitting in different positions. Protection was rated as good for all critical body areas for the driver. This was also the case in the, the full-width rigid barrier test, and protection was good or adequate for the rear passenger. In both the side barrier and the more severe side pole tests, protection of all critical body areas was good and the car scored full points in both of these tests. Tests on the front seats and head restraints demonstrated good protection against whiplash injuries in the event of a rear-end collision. A geometric assessment of the rear seats also indicated good whiplash protection. The standard fit autonomous emergency braking AEB, system performed well in tests of its functionality at the low speeds at which many whiplash injuries occur, with collisions avoided in all tests. Scenarios In the frontal offset test, protection of the neck of the 10-year dummy was marginal, based on readings of neck forces. Otherwise, in both the frontal and side barrier tests, protection of all critical body areas was good for both dummies. The front passenger airbag can be disabled to allow a rearward-facing child restraint to be used in that seating position. Clear information is provided to the driver regarding the status of the airbag and the system was rewarded. There is not enough room to install a universal child restraint in the optional third row seats and to use the second row seats in their normal positions. Accordingly, the restraint installation test was failed for the third row seats. Otherwise, the restraints for which the Model X is designed could be properly installed and accommodated in the car. The Model X has an active, deployable bonnet. Sensors in the bumper detect when a pedestrian has been struck and actuators lift the bonnet surface to provide greater clearance to the stiff structures in the engine compartment. Tesla showed that the system worked robustly for different pedestrian statures and across a wide range of speeds, so tests were performed with the bonnet in the raised position. Protection was good or adequate at almost all test locations on the bonnet. The bumper provided good protection to pedestrians' legs but protection of the pelvis was poor. The Model X's AEB system can detect vulnerable road users like pedestrians and cyclists, as well as other vehicles. In tests of its response to pedestrians, the systems performed well, with collisions avoided or mitigated in most cases. In tests of its response to cyclists, the system scored maximum points, with collisions avoided in all test scenarios. The Model X has a seatbelt reminder system for the front and rear seats. The AEB system performed well in tests of its response to other vehicles at highway speeds. A lane support system helps prevent inadvertent drifting out of lane and also intervenes in some more critical situations. A speed assistance system uses a camera and digital mapping to identify the local limit and the driver can choose to allow the car to adjust the speed limiter accordingly. The 2019 Tesla Model X crash test earns 5 stars from Euro and ACP. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel or give us a like or comment.